Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy, Big OS Rages. Coming back to y'all with another No Money Spent episode. And this is probably going to be a short, simple one. Because I'm not feeling too well. You probably hear from my throat that I, I don't sound the best. Because I had a procedure done yesterday. Don't worry, I'm okay. It was just something that needed to be done. Um... So yeah, my whole body is in, in pain still. My throat hurt because I had to have a breathing tube while they confirm, uh, perform the procedure. So sorry if I don't sound the best, but <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna try to edit that part out. But uh, yeah, uh, so I really just want to go over the packs, hit nine mil by quick selling some things. I finally hit 9 mil because actually I was at a lower number than that. I think it was at 8.9. But I started selling a lot of stuff in my collection. But this, I hit 9 mil a couple times above that. But I kept spinning MT on these packs. When I say I probably would have been at 8 point. No, I'd probably been at like 9 million and like 200K plus or a little bit lower than that. That's how much MT I spent. I think I open really nah. I think it's less because I think I opened like ten packs or like ten to fifteen packs, so like a hundred, one hundred fifty k. So I would have been at nine mil, but I kept doing it because I'm like, okay, maybe I'll get Ben Wallace because Ben Wallace is going for hundred fifty, which is crazy. I actually might buy Ben in this episode just to buy him because at this point it is what it is. What more can I lose? I'm going to have 9 mil by the end of this episode. So, there's no need to keep, you know, hoarding MT for real, for real. I think it's time to splurge a little to lock in for some sets. So, yeah, let's go over these packs. So, I guess uh, you still got the Bracket Buster stuff in here if you still want to go for Kareem. Me, personally, I don't care. I pulled a Grand Hill. He undersold 417000 when I opened the new edition packs when it first came out Tuesday. But um, I really don't care about Kareem. People care about it. I don't. This uh, Shaquille O'Neal is called the uh, Phenom Packs. I don't know why Lonzo is considered a Phenom. Don't get me wrong. I, I love Lonzo, you know, and it sucks that he probably won't return anytime soon. Because of injuries, and I feel like injuries are going to derail his career, even though he proved so much from the Lakers when he went to the Pelicans. He be Pelicans, he became a lethal shooter almost. And then with the Bulls, you know, he became even better in my opinion because that system, he would have thrived even more until injuries. He was thriving. You know, his three-point shot, his three-point percentage was still up. He's a almost a – I believe he's an elite defender in my opinion. He's an elite defender. He's an elite playmaker. You know what I mean? I want to say elite, elite defender, but he's a great defender. And he's a great two-way player. He became a 3D player, but more than 3D player because his, his playmaking is elite. Now, I think LaMelo playmaking might be a little better than Lonzo. It is better than Lonzo, but that doesn't make, you know what I mean, Lonzo not an elite playmaker when he wants to be. Not even if he wants to be. He 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 really was. He he really was a. Even if you don't want to say he's an elite playmaker and elite defender, he's a great playmaker and he's a great defender. So either way you look at it, Lonzo's career was going up until injuries. Injuries was really the road his career. So, but still, I want to consider him a phenom. Maybe in college, the hype and everything. You know what I mean? It's saying, you know, his dad was hyping him up as the next big Steph Curry and all that. But, you know what I mean? Lonzo paved his own way. So, I want to say he's a phenom now, which is weird. I don't even know why they included him. Evan Mobley, see, I just think they just, like, these dudes are not phenoms. Evan Mobley is not a phenom. Now, Paulo Banchero, I think he might be rookie of the year. I'm not too sure. I'm not, I didn't really follow the rookies like that. If it wasn't the Lakers, I really didn't follow no other team. So I can't really tell you from there. Uh, Brandon Ingram, like, I don't understand. They just throw phenom, maybe college phenoms. That's what I'm thinking, because I don't even know who Jonathan Bender is, low key. But I heard he's the best pick diamond in the game, and uh, he's 150K. So uh, 
Yeah, he's actually as rare to pull as the Dark Matters. So that's fun. Keegan Murray. Uh, I mean, Austin Reeves. See, I think these are like college phenoms. Because if we talk about NBA phenoms, oh, come on now. I don't even know. It felt like they just slapped. See, that's what I think. I think these were college phenoms. So if that's the case, then yeah, I get why they call them phenoms. I don't know about Darius Miles like that. I know Michael Carter Williams was a phenom in college. He was like, you know, he was rookie of the year, and then after that, he fell off. You know what I mean? He really, really fell off. So I guess from a standpoint of, okay, if we look at college, except for Shaq, Shaq career and college, he's a phenom. Shaq is the true, because like, when I look at Shaq, he like, he, he probably was a phenom in college. I think he was, but he was more of a phenom in NBA. But then when you look at Alonzo, I think his career-wise, like, in the college was, like, more phenom-like than actual NBA status because the hype around Alonzo. And then Evan Mitchell, I really don't know a lot about his college stats, not going to lie. And in the NBA, he's, 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 he's one of the better defenders especially for the power for a slash center position. But Phenom, no. You know, Paulo, if he's working in the year, but he's still not considered a Phenom. You know what I mean? So it's just weird. Brandon Ingram, all-star level player. You know, again, won't consider him a Phenom. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't understand why. I feel like they just slap names onto, like, they really just slap the names onto these promos and just call it a day without putting too much thought into it a lot of times. So, I mean, would I want Lonzo? Would I want Shaq? Yes, but their prices are 700 k for Shaq with a 63 ball, by the way. 63 ball. He is 7'1", but we all know you have to put him at the power forward position because of Yao Ming. But then... You can't even put him at the power forward position because you got a dude named Taco Fall, and he's going for 500K. So, I mean, you have to spend a lot of money on this game or a lot of MT just to build, just to have a giant squad because that's the meta. You can play with Shaq all you want, but I am going, if I was the other team and I had Taco and I yell, I'm just going to sit in the paint on Shaq because I'm going a, I'm to a dare you to shoot that. With that horrible release he probably got. I don't think they changed his release at all. And he got a 63 ball. Which makes no sense because this is a dark matter. But Taco Fall Pink Diamond got a 73 three ball. Which is weird. But I mean you can run that little Shaq and Kobe duo. For damn near 2 million MT though. And that's the only thing I hate about this game. Like some cars like Kobe. The reason why Kobe. Because we look at Giannis and look at Kobe. Giannis is more of a meta card than Kobe because there are so many good shooting guards out there. You don't need Kobe. And then if you got the RNG cards, the Billy Knight uh, RNG card, you really don't need Kobe. But Kobe, because he's Kobe, is going for damn near a million MT. This is a regular. I know this is a hollow Kobe, so maybe somebody pay a little tiny bit extra. But this is a basically this is a base level Kobe because he only got 30 halves. So. Like, you look at their prices, like, look at Giannis, it's 310. Makes no sense. I think LeBron even, like, four, maybe. So it's like, some of these cars' prices do not even make sense. And then Paolo. I feel like Paolo just got a car not too recently. I mean, he got good stats, but do he got clamps this time? Because I'm pretty sure if I go to season four... Was he alternative reality? No, he might have been a season three card. He was a season three card, Pink Diamond. So let's look at his stats real quick. 83 ball. His stats is basically identical. But this one got better, a little way better stat. Not way better. He's still a better card, better hoffs. Plus four three ball, basically the same passing, better interior and block I believe, and still in perimeter. Plus three speed, plus one speed with ball, and plus three lateral quickness. That's why I remember. So he's not that much different from his pink diamond, 
but his badges. He got a, he didn't come with, he come with Hall of Fame clamps on this one. The other one didn't even have Hall, had clamps. I don't even think the other one did come with clamps. So this Paulo is way better. I hate his jump shot though. So if you can get used to a jump shot, I feel like this is a good card for you. But his lack, I don't know, his 88 lateral quickness. I, and then like he's 6'10". So he's good at the 6'10". But like, it's like his defense. He come off a clamps. So what am I talking about? I don't get why he come off a clamps but with, only with an 88 lateral, lateral quickness. And an 88 perimeter. At least be like 92. But like, 88 and then 88. Ah, that's kind of weird to me. Sorry, I'm laying down too, so that's why I probably feel a little, probably sound a little different too. Um, yeah, I actually wanted to pick up this Brandon Ingram card. I was trying to wait till it get a little cheaper. I don't, I did not like his jumper on this pink diamond from the trophy case. I actually hate that jumper. But if they make it very quick, maybe it changes a little. I don't know. I'll probably have to pick him up to see. Or maybe look if somebody did like a, like maybe DBG did like a gameplay video. Uh, John Wall is John Wall. I like his pink diamond. But again, he's 6'4". And the meta is like 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", and up. Because now you got Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler can even match this card, I believe. Maybe. Uh, he do come with 99 speed, though. Will he feel like that? I don't know. Clamps. Clamp breaker. I mean, quick first step. I mean, he's a good card. Don't get me wrong. But this is the card I really want to talk about. Not this card. Uh, let me go over Lonzo before I talk about the pink diamond. He's going for 471. God. He comes with... Okay. This one got a shoe? No. 94, 95 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 97 ball handle, 98 pass accuracy. This card is elite. 97 lateral, lateral quickness, 96 speed, speed ball, acceleration, 97 forever, 97 still, 90 block, 92 interior. This card is elite. Now, 6-6, six, six, I don't know. Can, is he going to get matched by Ben Simmons and Magic and... Probably all the tall point guards that's going to be coming out soon because we just got out of positions. Expect the out of position two, out of position three, out of position four, and so forth. So, I don't know. But I, I'll probably wait to pay 500 k for this card for the simple fact he's going to get cheaper. Because think about it. Lonzo Ball, you're going to have LaMelo soon at Dark Matter, I feel like. I know they just released the Galaxy Opal LaMelo or whatever. Or the pink diamond metal, I forget which which tier he was. Trust me, when they release Alonzo, I feel like a, a Lamelo is around the corner, not too in the future, not not too far in the distant future. So I'll wait for Alonzo. But this is the card I really wanted to talk about. Jonathan Bender, 130k to 150k. He comes with 92 three ball. He's seven foot two. That can play the small forward position. That's what I'm saying. It's been an out of position too soon. This man plays is seven foot. He got a 92 three ball, a 90 ball handle, 95 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, a 92 block, 84 star, 88 and perimeter is a little low, but he's seven foot. You can put him at the power forward position and be okay with him. A uh, 90 interior, a 90 offensive rebound, 90 defensive rebound, 90. 91 speed, 90 speed ball, 91 acceleration, 90 lateral quickness. You could boost that all up to, and then with the coach, you could get better defensive stats, more perfect defensive stats, or offensive stats. You get a plus four three ball, and then what I was going to look at? His badges. I didn't really look at his badges. Okay, he'll, he get quick for step and clay breaker. He get anchor, pogo stick, and probably just regular clams. Can you upgrade his clamps though? You probably you got upgrade his clamps. So if you have like multiple clamps, Hall of Fame clamps, or because if you got one, you probably want to bash out a player with it just to see if you can make more MT. But if you got multiple clamps, like I think some people do, low key, give him a Hall of Fame clamps. This card is elite. <laughs> seven foot, 
seven foot. And I'm gonna buy him and Ben Simmons in this video. Not Ben Simmons, Ben Wallace. But first, right, first, this is what I have to do. This is what I have to do. So, uh, also, let me go over some stuff. When the weekend is here, you get a free pack. I got to finish these up to get this new edition pack. Probably not going to get nothing from it. Uh, really, nothing else added. I mean, you look at the bracket buster stuff. You get a, I mean, pick, I think they said pick. Williams in this and pick up Jeffries maybe I'm not too sure but I mean get six defensive rebounds in the game with the wizard player four times and get uh win three clutch time off on the online games using five diamonds or higher players so basically a regular squad as I think a lot of people by now have diamonds and up by now so not too hard to get this for, for some free players. Not too bad. Two pink diamonds. Two free pink diamonds. That's not bad. So, yeah. But this is what I have to do. Because I probably don't. I mean, I got another player to sell. Sell, sell some more stuff. I want to hit 9 mil in this video. So I can say I hit 9 mil. So what I'm going to do is quick sell some players. So bye bye Chris Stapps. Bye bye Bradley Bill. Bye bye Siakam. Bye bye Scotty Barnes. Some of these I might get more than nah seven hundred, six hundred. Bye bye, bye bye. And there you have it. I finally hit nine mil. There you go. I need to stop opening packs. I probably do. But I got so much MT, I'm like, I might as well open a few now. I'm going to open one and one. One and one. So 25K. Here we go. This is a bad mistake. This is a terrible mistake. Terrible mistake. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see somebody waste the MT? Look at me. Oh, because I want, look, I want both the players, but you never know. Nothing. Ooh, that's bad. So let me go buy me a. This is stupid. There's no way. He was just 150k. I guess I'm not buying me a Ben Wallace yet. You got me after. Uh, oh no way. No way. And before, and on Thursday night, he was going for like 130K. That's nasty. That's nasty. I might as well buy me a, uh, how much is he going for? God damn. I'm going to just put a bit on there and just end the video there. And if I get him, I get him. If I don't, I don't. It's just kind of crazy. 160, I ain't paying 160 for no goddamn pink diamond. But yeah, that, that's going to do it for me, y'all. As you can see, they trying to hold me on Ben Wallace. I should have been bought him. But uh, if you like these type of videos, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, the whole nine if you want to. If you want to. Uh, I got nothing open here. Yep, that's it for me, y'all. Have a good weekend, y'all. Peace.